Hi, my name is Arman, and this is the Creating and Separating Mixtures Lab, or the Filtration Lab video. Please follow along in your notes, and remember that you can pause, rewind, or forward whenever you feel like you need to. Alrighty, so the first section of the lab wants you to divide sodium chloride, or NaCl, sand, and a combination of the two together into three different sections on a piece of paper. And so here I have them laid out. Next we will examine them with a magnifying glass. Here is the sample of NaCl or sodium chloride. Please jot down any observations and make sure to draw a picture in a third of your particle picture box. Here is the sample of sand under a magnifying glass. Again, make any observations and draw the particle picture in another third of your particle picture box. And finally, here is the combination of NaCl or sodium chloride and sand. Please again jot down any observations you have and finish up the particle picture box with this final particle picture. Alrighty, so now I have placed all of the sand and salt that we saw previously into the beaker on the left and I have 30 milliliters of water in the graduated cylinder and I am pouring the water into the beaker and now I am stirring the mixture with a glass rod so now write any observations about the contents of the beaker and record a particle picture Alrighty, in the next part of the lab, we're going to filter the mixture that we saw in the previous section, and this requires one folded piece of filter paper that is placed inside of a funnel. And so here is Mrs. Sockleben very expertly doing that. Here, the salt, sand, and water mixture we saw previously is being poured into that funnel that we prepared, and so you'd want to record any observations you make about the contents of the funnel and the liquid that passes through the filter which is called the filtrate and then draw particle pictures for both those things. After all of the water passed through the filter and became filtrate, 10 milliliters of that filtrate was then placed into an evaporating dish and then that dish was put onto a ring stand with a clay triangle above a Bunsen burner because we are now going to heat the filtrate until it completely evaporates. And finally we have the Bunsen burner heating the filtrate inside of the evaporation dish. And when all of the filtrate has been evaporated, the evaporating dish will look like so. Record any observations and then draw a particle picture of the contents of the evaporating dish. And finally, I will leave you with a picture of the inside of the evaporating dish, but this has been Arman Rashid, and as always, have a pleasant day.